Hey guys, this is Rupesh from Vium.com and Google has been updating Chrome with a lot of cool new features, especially with the 89 and 90 update. And since we all use Chrome a lot, I thought why not talk about these cool new Chrome features both on smartphones as well as laptops, especially because a lot of these features are actually very useful. Now before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to CoinDCX Go, which is one of the simplest apps to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. You just register, link up your bank account and you can start by investing as low as 10 rupees in Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. Plus there are no transaction fees and your funds are safe and insured by BitGo. I also like that CoinDCX Go is an ISO certified platform and follows all regulations. So yeah, if you want to buy cryptocurrencies easily, go ahead and check out CoinDCX Go from the link below. A lot of price tracking extensions on Chrome desktop are super handy and the good news is Google has been rolling out a native price tracking feature in Chrome Android but sadly it's not available for everyone yet but there is a way to enable it right away. All you need to do is head to the Chrome Flags page, search for tab grid layout. As you can see there are a lot of options here, now just use enable price notifications. Once done just relaunch Chrome, open up the page of the product whose price you want to keep track of. Now in the tabs page, just hit the menu button and you can see this new option, track prices. Just tap this option and enable track prices on tabs. That's it. Now you will be notified when the price drops on this tab. Do note that you have to keep the tab open all the time for Chrome to track prices. Chrome is also getting a cool new commander search feature and it's without a doubt awesome. Let me show you. So you just press control and space to trigger the commander search which is the search pop-up box and here you can actually search for different chrome shortcuts options and even websites that you might have opened in the past for example i can type tab here and as you can see you get all these different tab actions that you can just choose i can also search for something like bookmark and get these options so yeah this is super handy but right now only available in the candy build so it'll obviously become a lot better when it comes to stable So this is actually my favorite new feature in the Chrome 90 update. See, I'm talking about the ability to share a web page with some specific text highlighted. Now this feature isn't turned on for everyone yet, but yeah, Chrome flags to the rescue. You can search for the flag, copy link to text, enable this flag, and that's it. Now say I want to highlight the oxygen and vacant bed section in our COVID resources article. I can just select this text, right click on it, and just select copy link to highlight. Now when I paste the copied link, it takes me to the bed section with the text highlighted as you can see. So this is super handy. Now do note that this feature is only available on Chrome desktop right now, but yeah, I'm hoping it comes to phones as well. See when a website asks for your location, there are only two options, allow or block. So you either give the website your location access permanently or you don't give them access. This is also changing. In typical Android style, Chrome will give you three options when a website asks for your location. At every visit, only this time and block. So you can use the only this time option to give the website your location temporarily for this session only. Now this is awesome, but it's only available on Chrome Beta and Canary on Windows right now. So let's hope we see it on stable soon and on other platforms. Now tab groups are a very useful feature but right now if you accidentally close a group you cannot restore the group with all of its tabs. You can press command plus shift T and you'll only get one tab. You can also look in the history recently closed tabs and you'll see all the tabs listed separately. Well Chrome is fixing that. In Chrome Canary you can actually hit command plus shift plus T to restore a whole closed tab group as you can see. Even the history has the whole tab group so you can restore the tab group really quickly. Now this feature works in the Canary build without enabling a flag so it should be coming to Chrome stable pretty soon, I'm hoping. Now one of the most hated things when browsing the internet is opening a website for the very first time and getting this prompt. A website asking you if you want to get notifications. Now this can be handy in some situations but it's mostly annoying. Well Chrome now brings an option that stops this pop-up altogether. You can just go to Chrome settings, here go to privacy and security, here go to site settings and then notifications. As you can see in this page, there is now an option to disable sites can ask to send notifications. 
just disable this and yeah sites won't be able to ask you for you know notifications the good news is this option is also present on the phone as you can see so yeah make sure to turn this off Now another new feature in Chrome is the new Memories page and this again is a feature that's only available in the Chrome Canary bit. First up you have to enable it via Chrome Flags. You can search for Memories here and just enable it. Now you can go to this address, Chrome Memories and well this is the new Memories page. And I know it looks a lot like the history page but there are some differences. First up it also shows you relevant searches as you can see and it also shows you web pages that might be more relevant. Now this is obviously a very early look at sort of the new memories feature so we can expect it to become something more interesting well those were some cool new chrome features that are actually pretty useful but i want to know which new chrome feature do you like the most so make sure to comment below also like this video and share it and yeah make sure to stay safe wear two masks sanitize and get vaccinated as soon as you can let's hope that this all gets over real soon thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one